Look. So for this table, we wanted a more finished look. So I started out by running all of the boards through the planer and then through the joiner as well. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna get rid of those roundovers on those stock boards and enable us to get a nice, a nice flush joint between the two boards as well as the two by fours on the side. Now this is a spin-off of a Parsons table, so I'm going to be notching into the ends of the table. Um, I've already gone ahead and pocket screwed and glued the two two by eights together, and then I cut off the end to get a nice flush cut here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna notch these out, and then we're going to measure for the two by fours that are going to get mounted on the sides, front and back of the tabletop. As far as joinery goes for this project, we wanted to keep it simple, so we stuck with pocket hole screws. Now, for this project, we used the latest and greatest pocket hole jig from Craig Tool Company, which is the 720 Pro, and this thing is packed with all kinds of cool features. Start it up. After we glued and screwed those two by fours in place, then we could secure the four by fours. Now one oversight on my part was I didn't drill the pocket holes beforehand to secure those four by fours, but I was able to do so with my Craig R3 Junior. With the four by fours attached, then we can move on to the lower supports on both sides and the back of the unit. We raise those up about three and a half inches off the ground, which actually works as a perfect level for a footrest. For the backboard, I located the pocket holes on the back side that would hide up against the couch. And for the sideboards, I ended up positioning those pocket holes on the inside and filling those with pocket hole plugs. After a lot of sanding courtesy of my glorious wife, we moved on to the finishing process. And for this project, we wanted to apply a wood stain which we ended up going with a dark walnut wood stain. But before that, in order to take some of the pink hues out of the wood, we used the Accelerator uh, Aging Accelerator from Rust-Oleum, which is a great product to give it a little gray look. After the stain had time to set up, then we moved on to applying two coats of polyurethane and we went with a matte finish, which turned out great for this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was one of those projects that was fairly straightforward to build, made out of two by fours and two by eights and some four by fours. And it turned out really, really good. If you want the full plans on how to build this, make sure you click that button right there. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that one right there. And until next time, be safe and happy building.